Hi, Brad from WPSites.net. Let's take a look at comments and discussion. This is a uh, video 9 in the WordPress video tutorial series for beginners. Now, comments and discussion are a very important part of your blog. Um, if you've got a static website, you probably uh, and you don't have a blog, then you won't uh, won't need to watch this video. But most websites these days have a blog, and when you write a blog post and you that uh, gets sent by, via email to your subscribers or via RSS, they may want to come back to your site and leave a comment. So um, a, a good way to judge a popular site is by how many comments they have and, and gaining more comments to your site is, is quite a challenge. So uh, you need to learn how to write engaging comments, um, engaging content. So let's just have a look at, uh, at, at comments. We'll, we'll go to our demo site and uh, we'll go into the dashboard and you can see in one of the modules here recent comments so uh, these are just uh, demo comments but someone's come through and they've, they've left a comment and um, and basically these comments were automatically approved so they'll be displayed on the site uh, you can click this little hash sign here and this will take you through to the post where the comments left um, and this is just a demo comment here. You can notice there's a there's a headshot, or what they call a gravatar or an avatar, of the the the, the commentator's uh, face here, and also their name. And uh, and and when you click on their name, generally that'll go through to their website. So this is this is the view you get here of the comment section uh, when you're logged in. When you're logged out. We'll just have a look at what it looks like. It looks like this. The person comes along and they put their name in, their email address, they can put their website and they can leave a comment. They can also leave HTML links in there as well and you need to be careful of them because spammers tend to abuse that and that's a big problem. So let's just uh, go back to the WordPress dashboard. We'll log in again and we'll have a look at uh, what you should do when you get a comment. Now, this one hasn't used an avatar, so you have to be wary when someone hasn't got their face there. Generally, uh, they, uh, they, they may be just spamming for a link back to their site. Um, if you look at their comments, if there's any misspellings in there or any links in there, you're not quite sure whether it's spam or not, you can click on the edit link and uh, you can actually uh, you can remove links and you can remove... Um, Content from the uh, from the uh, from the comment. You can also correct uh, spelling mistakes, and uh, and you can update the comment. If they're leaving keywords in their name there, like this one's WordPress, uh, then you have to be wary. Generally, if they've got their uh, their real name in there, like John John Smith, then that's normally fine. Um, so this is pretty much what you can do by editing uh, the comments. You've got you've got all these different features here. Um, if you decide that this is a spam comment, you can simply just spam it, and that won't be displayed underneath the post. So uh, so here's the here's here's the, this is the first place that you'll notice new comments appear as soon as you log into your dashboard. Uh, now let's just go. There's another set page here. This is the comments. Uh, screen and this will show you all your list of comments how many are spammed how many are approved whether there's pending comments and how many you've just trashed so this gives you a full range of all your existing comments now you can also go into the settings here and the discussion settings are very important that you configure these before you start writing your first blog post and we'll just go through those discussion settings now because this is quite uh, quite important. Um, now attempt to notify any blogs linked to from the article. If, uh, if people are, are linking to your site um, from from other sites you'll get pingbacks and trackbacks so uh, generally you would allow these uh, allow pe people to post comments on new articles well you want to make sure this is checked because you want to make sure you you people engage with your content and this is a great way of building uh, a relationship with your readers 
and also uh, and it helps building your brand as well. Uh, other comments in is comment author must fill out name and email. Well, this is quite important. You make sure they do this. Uh, users must be registered and logged in to comment. I generally leave this unchecked because otherwise you, you start to make it too difficult for people. They, they, they most people are limited for time, and uh, they don't want to. Uh, they don't want to have to register. If you do check this, you'll find you'll have significantly less, less comments because people just won't go to the trouble to register and log in every time they need to comment. You can also close the comments on all your posts after a certain time period. Uh, if you've got a popular blog and you're receiving a large amount of comment, you may want to check this. Uh, if you don't, you, you should leave that unchecked and that way uh, people will continue to build comments on your, on your existing posts regardless of how old they are. Uh, enable threaded or nested comments five levels deep you can actually go up to ten levels so when people comment on one particular comment and they join that conversation for that one one person's comment um, all the comments will be nested and threaded uh, underneath that particular comment rather than spread right across the different uh, comments so this is quite important I'd check that and leave it at least five levels deep uh, you can also break comments into different pages if you've got a really popular blog where you're getting hundreds of different comments on every article. You could uh, you could break the comment pages into uh, you know, 50, 100 different comments per page and have multiple pages of comments. Um, now this is quite an important setting here. Comments should be displayed with the older comments at the top of the page. I really believe it's better to have the newer comments at the top of the page. That way when people uh, look at your blog posts and read your blog posts, they'll see the latest comments at the very top, but you make your decision on that. So personally I put the newest comments at the top. Uh, you can also receive an email whenever someone posts a new comment and I tend to check this. Uh, every time a comment is held for moderation I, I check that as well. If you're getting too many emails then you can uncheck these. I think it's very important to check this one here. An administrator must always approve the comment. So you check that. That way all comments are approved before they're displayed and published on your, uh, underneath your posts. <coughs> Uh, and you can also comment author must have a previously approved comment this is quite a quite a good idea to make sure you know it really does help cut down on spam and you'll find that uh, most spammers they put in at least two two or more links into the uh, the content area of the comment so you want to make sure you check this here and uh, and you can actually blacklist people here by putting in a name uh, their domains URL an email address or the IP address to uh, to their site here's another comment blacklist field here where you can put in different words that are generally used like um, you know Viagra download uh, free movies whatever you're getting a lot of spam from um, you might want to put in those words and that'll help filter out all the comment spam. Another really important part of comments is what they call the avatar. Uh, now the avatar is uh, what I showed you before, a, a, an image of someone's face uh, next to the comment and this follows you from every post to every post so if you if you if you are uh, commenting on lots of different blog posts within your niche your image will show up next to every comment. Uh, you can choose a default avatar to use if people don't have a, an avatar. I tend to use the Gravitor one here because it's actually owned by WordPress. So once you've configured all those settings, you want to save them. Uh, we'll just have a look at Gravitar because Gravitar is, a, is an excellent free service where you can register. Uh, let's go into Gravitar. Dot com and I advise you to sign up for a Gravitor, it's free. Um, you just enter your email address in here 
and and, uh, and this is pretty much what you get you get a little uh, little bio about yourself so it's a good way to promote yourself I wouldn't I wouldn't use what Matt Mullenweg's used here you know he's unshaven and he's got a pair of sunnies on and, and without a haircut it really doesn't look cool in my opinion you want to make sure you look professional and uh, and uh, and uh, and you know a lot more presentable so uh, so that's it with comments it's 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 a very important part of blogging it's uh, engaging and connecting with your readers and your audience is, is really really important it's a great way to build trust and credibility and also uh, and also to learn more about your your niche so uh, so that's it on the discussion settings and comments. I also install uh, an excellent plugin called Akismet. It's part of my recommended essential plugins. So if you use the search, um, I haven't logged in. So uh, ten themes for WordPress. So this is a really good video coming up. We'll have a look at the different sort of themes uh, that you can use on WordPress and this will have a look at uh, how to make the uh, the styling and the layout and the appearance of your, uh, your, your website and your blog look really good. So see you next time. Cheers. Thanks for watching.